Uh, I created a new character because technically I've already started the game before. Uh, this is a trial. Uh, this is the Stormblood DLC. Um, I don't think you can actually skip these cuts. Oh, you can. Okay, I'm just gonna skip the cutscenes because uh, those it literally gets to uh, controller. Uh, I always said as controller. Besides, uh, I'm actually gonna go just grind for a bit. So, okay, so we have to basically stay now. I don't need the basic controller stuff, so. Okay, so this scene can't be skipped. Alright, so there we go. So we got our first quest, guys. Which is speak with Modai, which is. Uh, Tatsumoko. Uh, he's up here, so. Uh, it tells you where he is and shit, so. That's why I love this game, because I actually don't. There's, my, there's Nanamo. Now, Modai, Fox Wolf, Airplane, Smith. There you go, there's Modai. I never split to the fucking bastard. There you go, let's actually let me speak to him now. Well, huh. Uh, so basically what he tells us is we have to basically join a guild and stuff. Or we got 50 experience, quest complete. I am not doing what I did in the previous game, which takes a shit ton of quests, because at the point I would actually get lost. So it's an optional quest to speak to him. He's just like, yo. Alright, quest accepted. So it's fourth uh my name is Eternal Flame and it's uh currently uh 0412 PM in UK, which is where I'm actually from originally. Uh, you can actually speak to him, it's optional. You don't actually have to speak to that guy. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is you can actually head up there to get to the quicksand. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, the step to Tarlad. Uh, you have lesser sanctuary, you have entered the sanctuary. Sanctuaries are basically where you no monsters attack you whatsoever. Uh, which is actually pretty cool. 
Um, I'm also doing a God of War Let's Play as well as a Final Fantasy XV, so I currently have my hands full with recordings. I have three Final Fantasy games, uh, two Final Fantasy games that I'm doing. Uh, two... I don't know how to play the game, I've done it before. Uh, my advice, get these things as early as you can. Because if you get them, then you eventually learn stuff like Teleport, uh, Return. Uh, you have now access to the Weaver's Guild. Which is there. This is the Colosseum, my friend. Uh, no, this is the Sarkum. Uh, we don't actually have access to that yet, but this is the Sarkum. Uh, there's another quest there from Bit of Snow, which I'll actually do in a bit because it's quite hard. Uh, yeah, Ethernet. Or Ethernet, as it's called. It's actually called Ethernet, but hey, I have access to the Miner's Guild. Uh, Ethernet basically just tells you to put to inner cities and stuff like that. So you can actually warp, you can actually fast travel to everywhere, that's pretty cool. Uh, Miner's Guild is basically pretty useful, Flame Private. Uh, this is the Miner's Guild. Do not enter, okay. Uh, yeah, if you speak to that, uh, I'll, tell, I'll show you. Uh, so you want to be a miner, it's basically the miners guild. Uh, you can actually join, I think, like, one guild, so I'm actually doing the gladiators guild, which is pretty... It's actually useful. Uh, the first quest I'm actually doing is... I believe I already have this one. Goldsmith's Guild, which is there. I need to find a Colosseum, guys. I really do. It's basically a weapon job, but. One misstep, it's the stone. It's too stone throwy. You okay? That doesn't make any sense. But up here, guys, is Hunting Strip, which is basically a bar. Now I'm actually gonna sprint. It's actually hard to control the character while he's sprinting, so. I'm actually going to try and find my way to the Colosseum. Uh, couldn't do that off screen, and for some reason it's now actually auto running, which is. Okay, so you can literally just sheath your weapon quite quickly. I uh, didn't mean to do that. There you go. Uh, back this way. Uh, my opinion is literally find every single last Aether because, uh, yeah, Pearl Lane is basically the least thing you've got to see him. Uh, Pearl Lane is basically the poor version of the poor uh, town, so. Uh, 
I imagine I had to the Coliseum to uh, just basically get that done. I actually, fuck it. You know what, guys? I'm actually going to show you the battle mechanics of the game while I uh, remember. Uh, so, the stars, the steps are na uh, nullad, or nulled, whatever it's called. Steps are nulled. But yeah, uh, I'm going to show you the battle mechanics of the game. Pretty cool. Uh, basically, I just love the way this game is made personally. Uh, whatever, if I actually went the right way to go outside of the village. There we go. So we can now head to Central Palaman. Uh, you obtain further experience, which is actually, you actually get experience with like mapping of the realm. Basically, once you complete your realm, we can move on to other places. Alright, so the battle mechanics is actually pretty weird in this game. Uh, so, level 1, basically really weak enemies. Uh, they literally... It's actually a really, like... As you guys can see, I've not taken any fucking damage to this guy, and I've learned fight or flight, which is a uh, pretty good ability, actually. Uh, it's actually an evasive ability, which is actually pretty cool. Now, I've only taken one fucking bit of health. Uh, I'm not going to take on level 5 enemies yet, I'm actually going to get to about level 3 before I do that. No target in range. Oh, okay. So I have to run away so that actually that far actually fades. There we go. Uh oh target's there, it's cool. Uh once you attack the enemy, it will actually start going. Uh, wait, what level is that turtle? It's level 12. If I can get to level 8, uh, I will be actually facing off the turtle. Fight. Flight or fight? Fight or flight? Bang. 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 Yeah, you could easily take on that thing, but it has a lot of HP and it's level 12, so I'm not gonna battle him yet. Because that is the target. Yeah! Yeah, but this is literally a really cool battle mechanic now. Hang on guys, I'm actually gonna... Uh, do something quick. Uh, I can't actually remember, that's what I'm asking you guys. Uh, it's active. Uh.
Where did my weapons that Nola had? But yeah, literally, this is really easy. This basically uh, is just a weak place for you to grind. Uh, like, very early in the game. As you can see, I'm level 4, uh, level 3 even. So, I mean, I'm going to take on like level 5 enemies, stuff like that. Uh, in a bit, actually, guys, once I get to about level 5, I will be taking on turtles and uh, stuff like that. Now, these things ain't hard to beat. I mean, you can beat them at low level, you can beat them at level 1 if you technically uh, know how to beat the guy. If you know how to, beat them, if you know how to battle them, uh, it's really easy. Plus, besides, you can literally just level up because uh, they just like give off like 200 experience roughly. There you go, look, he's dead, I've got 140 experience, so literally fighting these things actually helps the game. Uh, I want to get to at least level 5. I mean, look, I've only done 3 damage, but Bard's Blade doing 9. I mean, I've seen people do like over 200 damage in one single hit. It's actually mental because they're like level 50, so that, they're doing 1,000, like 800 damage plus. Oh, really? Hundred seventy four, I'm near level. If I can beat this thing within 45 seconds, I'll be well happy because... So I'm near level 5, uh, near level 4 even guys. Uh, getting up to level 5 didn't take me long in the last game. Uh, so it literally took me about two minutes, about five minutes to get to level five, uh, level ten. But I'm level, I'm doing, I've been doing it for eighteen minutes. Uh, the reason I've been doing it for eighteen minutes is because while well, I'm doing forty-five minutes, I think, yeah, we actually now have combos. Savage Blade is actually stronger than uh, Fast Blade, so. Uh, level 4. Now, can I actually kill this thing in 4 seconds? Because... No, okay, so we lose our chain bonus. Which means we are not getting any more bonus here. Okay. Finish your Savage Blade. Uh, you get plus 100%. If you have chain bonus, you get like 50%, stuff like that. And service flight. Fight or flight. Yo guys, when I get to level 5, uh...
Uh, do you actually guys actually want to see me take on a turtle, uh, giant tortoise to see if we can actually beat it? Because I could actually do that. Uh, level five. Uh, so I'm actually heading over the drawbridge now, back to the main city because well, there is a giant tortoise and someone is actually battling it. So I'm actually going to help him do it. I mean, I'm nearly level te uh, nearly level te nearly level five. Uh, you only gain 80 points and stuff like that. Don't try anything or. Huh. What's up? So yeah, um, I have no idea where anything is in this game. I don't even know where you buy weapons. I don't even know where you buy stuff like that. So I'm just literally trying to find you. So you guys can buy swords and stuff. Uh, I'm actually gonna get this one. I'm actually gonna get them all because. Wait, where is Cesaroga? Uh, that would help because I might actually find out something. So okay, so he's just straight ahead of here. Uh, I believe there is. Okay. Uh, hello, new hello. And you are a ho. By the way, yes, yeah, so I can do. What can I do for you? Busan and Sapphire exchange the bid in the profitable market in the Sabatha, whatever it's called. Alright. A Delia sword, perhaps, or. Okay, to the south. Okay, that's fine. Right, to the south. 
Uh, north is basically behind us, so we head to the south. So we head basically backwards off north. Arms Mender. Is he the one where he buys swords? Uh, Weather Short Sword. Okay, let's repair. Scrap Strip Exchange. Arms Merchant. Here we go. Right. Purchase weapons level 1 to 9. So we have weather, bronze bastard sword, Viking sword. I want the I want the Viking sword because it's powerful. I mean, increase my physical strength by two, and just yeah, gladiator's gladiator's arm, gladiator's arm, lance's arm, lance's arm, marauder's arm. Uh, that will increase by six. Why is him level 7? I mean... Okay, so we have level 4, level 4, there's shopping shoes. We actually found them now. Ryo Rip Pookin. I mean, as you guys can see, I'm not doing too much damage, but uh, soon I will be. I'll be doing quests and stuff to get gold soon. Uh, we actually need to defeat these things in order to do quest, uh, in order to do quest. So I'm literally trying to hunt them down. Uh, animals. Basically, you can just literally grab as many shit as you can and just sell it. Uh, it's the best way to get gold. Uh, piece of animal short. Uh, that actually helps. I mean. Okay, that actually helps because it attacks multiple enemies at once. Right, you're dead. You're next. You can now accept the next. I didn't hear, I didn't read that, because it didn't actually show me. Uh, honey actually only sells, I think, for like, what, two golds? It should actually give you gold for defeating most of the battle because like in any other Final Fantasy game you can actually get gold doing that. Uh, 
Oh, I'm on my. I'm going to like level seven, and then I'm gonna take on a turtle. I'm just gonna kill her like that. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna head back into the sanctuary. Spring! Oh my god, he's riding on a fucking kit soon. That's pretty cool. Dark Arms, Maraud Duck, Gladiator, that's actually pretty powerful. Uh, two gold, one gold. Oh, 112. Can't buy shit. Fuck this guy, I'm actually doing a quest. That actually helps. So now I can literally just whop here. So uh, I went ahead to the gladiators. I went ahead to the uh I went ahead to the guild uh gladiators guild so I can actually do that. Uh, because I actually, well, I'm a gladiator. I always have been, I always will be. Every RPG I play, if it has a gladiator quest, a uh, gladiator's uh, thing in it, I will be, I do do it. Uh, I've always been gladiators. I love gladiators. Those who know me very well, uh, you know, if the game has a gladiator quest, uh, if game has gladiator, I do gladiators. Uh, this isn't the Coliseum. Where's the Coliseum? Earth Bank. Alright. Oh, okay, I know I'm going. It's fine. Step the tall lad. You've left the sanctuary, you have entered the sanctuary. Uh, I'm doing 45 minute games. I'm doing 45 minute episodes on each game I do. But uh, I think I will be anyway. Uh, so. There's like loads of different guilds. It's unbelievable in how many guilds there are in this game. Uh, you have Gladiator, you have Rorda, you have. The Coliseum, which is basically where I am now. There you go. Access to the Gladiators Guild. Uh, for those who don't actually know where the Gladiators Guild is, the Gladiators Guild is actually in the Coliseum. Which is here, this is the Gladiators Guild. So basically talk to her. Uh, nothing. Alright, so you have to speak to this guy first, I believe. Yeah. 
fire shard, dark grade one dark matter. That's actually useful. I mean, sells one gold, unsellable. So uh, it's not actually worth it because I don't do shit. Uh, he just basically says, "Do you want to be a gladiator?" There you go. Where the gladiator? Oh god, I mean to do that. Uh, except. Oh fuck's sake, guys! Keep fucking up. Oh my god, I'm. Oh, there we go, yes. Okay, so we're now Gladiator. Quest accepted. So, what am I actually going to do? So I'm actually going to go to the uh, main shard to get teleport because for starters uh, it actually helps plus you can just teleport back to any of them which is actually pretty good. Uh, well, I'd say most of them like we need to go this way. Uh, this is the reason why I love Final Fantasy 15 so, uh, Final Fantasy 14 so much is because of how big the game is. Uh, it's basically World of Warcraft for Final Fantasy. It's actually different. Uh, first time I've ever played this game is like... Wait, what? I'm saying it's... Yeah. Well, there it is. Okay, there we go. Right, so that's all of that done. So we have that return. So that's all of that done. Now we have to go back to the quicksand, which is... Pretty near, actually, to be honest, guys. Uh, Emerald Avenue, where's Pole Lane? Because it's actually just quicker to go to Pole Lane. But before I do that, as you guys can see, there are so many fucking quests to do in this game. It's like huge. Uh. Gate of Sultana. Okay, so that's how you get access to the Sulfara. Uh, I mean, my HP is nearly 200, guys. Ah. Okay, my lead just clicked and it wasn't good. Uh. So, yeah, I'm literally just wandering around like a headless chicken. I'm sorry for that, guys. I should, like you, I, like I've said, I have actually played this game before, so I should know where the fuck to go, but 
it's just so big, it's unbelievable. I always get lost. I can never remember where anything is. Uh, I'm in Emerald Lane. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get back to Pearl Lane because I know I'm going from there. It's literally south, but... The uh, question is, can I actually remember where Pearl Lane is? Uh, that is the question. Can I actually remember where Pearl Lane is? Because if I can get to Pearl Lane, I'm good. Oh, right, okay. There we go, right. <laughs> this is the quicksand. That's what I said, if I can get to the quicksand, I know where I'm going. If I can get to Pearl Lane, I know where I was go I knew where to go, but that's what I mean. But I've been recording for 41 minutes now. Um, I'll probably do... Because it's the first video I'm doing, I'll probably do for an hour. Like, because why not? So, yeah, I'm actually going to go speak to him. To complete domain. Okay, so we, we completed that. We got 107 gold and that, and uh, 100 experience. So there we go. Plus 200 experience because obviously 100 plus 100%. So basically, just doubles it. Uh, so we have we must rebuild, which is the next scenario quest. Uh, I'm actually going to do the way of the gladiator first before I do we must rebuild. But before we do that, guys. Well, I'm actually going to go to Pole Lane. I'm actually going to go back to Sapphire. Because I am going to buy a new sword. Because the sword I have at the moment is pretty useless. I mean, like, I'm level 5. I need a new weapon, guys. Uh, south. Which, that's north. That's south. Arms Mender, Arms Merchant, by level 1 to level 9. Bronze Bastard Sword, by 204, so I can buy the Viking Sword. Wait, what level is this thing? 7. Level 5. Right, I'm going to purchase this Sight Bearness. Yes. Alright, so now I have the Viking Sword, so all I've got to do is literally go up two more levels, so... Uh, I'll cut this out, and I'll see you guys when I'm level 7. Uh, level... I went Irish then. Uh, yeah, I do actually have Irish in me. So that's actually natural that I went the Irish accent then. Uh, so, I'm gonna level up to level 7, and then when I do, I will be back. And I will be having a Viking Sword on me, so peace. He's dead. I will be killing these things very quickly, so uh, soon. So uh, as you guys can see, I'm literally trying to level up as quickly as I can, uh, which is why I'm actually just quickly rinsing these guys because I mean, look, I nearly took off half his health on that two hits, so it's guaranteed damage. 
I mean, they're level two, don't get me wrong, but three animal skins. I want to try and take on a higher level, like level five, level seven. Wait, can I actually go add this way yet or not? Because if I can't, then it doesn't matter. Uh, so I can't talk to him. I want to take one of these level five enemy, level eight, level seven, level uh, level ten, like level five to seven enemies because wow, well, level two and three, I'm literally just easily killing. Oh, yeah, level four, that'll do. Wait, we're level 12. Right, let me kill these first. I should be able to get to at least level 5, uh, level 6 before doing this. Uh, before taking on the turtle, I will be getting to level 7 because uh, having the Viking Sword actually will help against the damage with the turtle. Uh, because at the moment, I've only done 3 damage to level 4s. And if you actually look, fuck it. You know what? I mean, that does 27 damage to me. It's literally doing a lot of fucking damage. I might not be able to kill this thing, but I'm actually going to try. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to deal with damage to this thing anytime soon. But uh, these things I can actually be because they're only doing like what five damage, eight damage. So they're like doing only like eight damage. So uh, when I get to level seven, uh, level six, which will be soon, uh, I'm not gonna bother speaking to her yet because I don't actually have a good sword equipped. And the quest we actually have to do is we have to kill enemies. So uh, I just want to quickly switch these. I want that guy's samurai sword because I love katanas. Uh, katanas is my favorite sword to use. If you actually help allies beat enemies, then you actually gain experience yourself as well as. Action! Like you learn flash, which is actually useful. Wait, what level is that turtle? Is it like 12? Yeah, level 12. Wait. Okay. So say, where's the snapping turtle? Where's the shrub valley? are probably like, yo, this guy's like a level 5 and he's just basically rinsing everything.
Uh, we're recording for 52 minutes, guys. That concludes today's video uh, of well, Final Fantasy XIV, but. I will be recording another episode of Final Fantasy XIV soon. Peace.